Now, in Hinduism, yeah. um, it's stated a lot about what the, the fundamental belief is in reincarnation, the recycling of life and death, life and death. This is a fair assessment, correct? Yeah. Now, most Abrahamic religions believe you will go to a beautiful heavenly abode to reside with God, Krishna, himself. Um, what would you say that hell in Hinduism would be considered to be? Well, hell exists. Like, would, would you consider it to be con the continuously cycling body after body, constantly reincarnating, reincarnating into material life? Yeah, according to the Vedic scriptures in the Srimad Bhagavatam, we are now in a state of samsara, which means a cycle of birth, uh, old age, disease, and death. Right? It's a cycle. It's continuing and continuing and continuing. And why it's continuing? Because we're committing acts of karma. We're doing karma, right? Good or bad, right? So as we are, as we are doing actions in this material world, is giving a reaction, and one of those reactions is that eventually we'll have to give up this body. And then the soul will incarnate in another body. We'll be born again. You know, we'll take birth as a baby in some form, whether it be a human form, an animal form, a plant form, a fish form, an insect form, some form. There's 8,400,000 species of life in this universe. 400,000 of them are different humanoid types. On this earth alone, there's different forms of human. And then in the other material in the other planetary systems there's other human forms you know we call them aliens right so but they're just not the human like forms so there is a well, there is an understanding that there is a heaven and a hell now the heaven in our understanding vedic understanding is not the ultimate goal the ultimate goal is to go beyond those heavenly realms and to go to a place called galoka rindavan that is where Krishna is residing eternally. We want to go there. That's to reside with God. How do you go there? How do we go there? The practice in in this age, in Kali Yuga, is, is called Harinam Sankirtan, the congregational chanting of the holy names of God. And that is the same for all religions, revealed to them. So our process is just the same. It is chant, congregational chanting of the holy names of God. And we can do that in a congregation or we can do that alone. But the process is the same. It is chanting. Yeah. So this is why we chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. 